We've seen demolitions that throw up extremely difficult and dangerous situations, and we've witnessed others that have to contend with large amounts of debris and major disruption to the local area. But every now and then, a project comes along that has all that and more. Enter the OK Allen Bridge in Louisiana, America. Louisiana has hundreds of rivers running through it, so bridges are the backbone of the state's infrastructure. It's vital that when a bridge is no longer fit for purpose, it's taken down and replaced straight away. And next in line for the chop was the OK Allen Bridge. Completed in 1936 to provide a critical link between Alexandra and neighboring Pineville, the bridge was in a state of disrepair and no longer safe for the thousands of people crossing it each day. There was only one way to bring this bad boy down, dynamite and lots of it. The disruption caused by the closure of this vital link over the Red River to neighboring Pineville would have been catastrophic to the flow of the local highways. So the OK Allen's replacement was built before it closed, just meters away, and all traffic is now diverted across the new Curtis Coleman Bridge. But that causes a major headache for our demolition and their explosives experts. How do you blow up a massive steel structure like this old bridge without firing huge chunks of twisted metal out over the surrounding area and risk bringing down the brand new bridge as well? You can't just strap dynamite to the bridge and hope for the best. Months of preparation went into getting this bridge ready for demolition. I'm Clay Brister with the Rep Each Parish Sheriff's Office, commander of the Bomb Tech Unit. We're using shape charges. Uh, it's directional. It's designed to cut the steel in a precise location. And as long as everything goes according to plan, everything should be cut clean and the bridge should drop without a whole lot of incident. Should anything go wrong, such as timing or anything like that, then uh, that's a whole different ball game. There's a whole lot of variables that come into play when you're trying to time uh, several charges going off. Timing on this implosion is critical. Blow the charges at exactly the same moment and the combined shockwave could damage the new bridge. Too far apart and the bridge could fall the wrong way. The amount of variables that could affect this implosion are staggering. Despite all the potential problems, it's now or never for this demolition.